for optimization of performance, and uh, we will get into the world of optimization of predictions. Yeah? Now, when we move across to optimization of predictions, we need systems which uh, can work across the finance and the operational business functions in the, uh, in the organization. Now, once we have this uh, integrated across the safe and operations plans, uh, we can build predictive engines on top of it, which has been the practical experience from most of the customer products. And uh, it, it's more of a wave uh, which is progressing further um, and which uh, you know, we are present uh, at this moment. You know, we have to build integrated systems which supports our planning purposes um, and across to the future levels. Now, the practical side again talks about, you know, uh, we have a number of items you know, which is static within a budget system, which is not online and capability of uh, moving across and looking at the transaction systems. And hence the operational business data, which uh, some examples are here, you know, there are bombs missing, routings, activities are not there. If you are doing a driver-based budget process, then many of these activities need to be key in manually. The materials are not present. Uh, the overhead items, uh, you know, an example is CPF calculation in Singapore, you know, that's kept outside and it's the CPF changes. Then you again go to the Excel to start, uh, uh, start using that activity. So how we can uh, build that across to the system? The system needs a lot of uh, capability in terms of processing. So that's why you know, the traditional systems were incapable of approaching the operational business data across to the budget systems. And uh, SAP at one time had a solution which is called the Sales and Operations Plan on the SAP ERP environment, which had very rigid master data structures. So that solutions cannot be used, but if we move them from there to Hyperion's or any of the uh, newer world budget systems, uh, then we don't have the capability for those budget systems to adapt to the detailed information which is required for the planning. So that's where you know we can bring in uh, uh, the latest technologies which are available for to help us to do business level or operational level budgeting processes uh, as a part of it. Now, there's an example. I'll quite quickly go to it. Uh, uh, you know, we deal with around 50 odd screens and material masters and customer masters and different master pieces uh, in doing the budget for you know, ERP related plan processes you know, which we uh, work on it and we have uh, quite a number of people you know, who work around these budget processes and if we put that into a set of Excel frameworks and structures uh, we naturally come across quite a lot of uh, uh, responsibility screens which we need to go through. Yeah. So, you know, traditionally it is uh, it, it's a task which is being co coordinated by using a ton of Excel sheets, you know, which can uh, map across to these structures and complexities within organizations. So, you know, how we can bring all these uh, structures together, uh, that defines, you know, a bi-media system to take care of these activities. So, the, you know, I, I was asked a number of times about what is the real value of a good planning and budgeting system which can come across to organizations. The value is to take this through. So if it is an account-based budget or planning process which we are building, then this value proposition of taking this pain across from the, uh, from the finance users does not exist because you know, it is not delivered in terms. And that's where you know, we have to look at uh, an approach where the business users are coordinating across to just one system, which is an integrated business planning system which is coordinated across to all the underlying systems on ECC, APO, CRM, MDM, or any other systems which is used is coordinated across. And uh, the high performance analytics uh, will uh, allow us to have the simulation uh, required for us to simulate on online master data structures you know, which we can use uh, within our planning processes. So if there is a multi-level bomb, bomb structure, and we are doing a costing, the only place we can do it today is in product costing module in SAP ECC environment. If we take the unit cost out of that ECC environment, and we try to recost it, uh, recalculate our cost in a newer environment, then we will not be able to achieve the accuracy required for our labor pricing, activity pricing, material pricing, overhead pricing, etc., which we define in the different master data within the ERP environment. So, can we do this? You know, if we can do this, then you know we take uh, uh, quite a lot of pain out of the existing processes in terms of costs. Now, the similar situation exists in HR, manpower planning, sales planning, and other areas. Yeah? 
So, in today's uh, discussion, um, actually we are uh, we are putting a quite solution around uh, the SAP technologies available, uh, which uses uh, you know ECC. So, if you are not an ECC company, uh, you know it just doesn't apply to you. So, ECC, APO, CRM, BW, BPC, and uh, HANA technology, which is still on a proof of concept on a conceptual uh, stage right now. Uh, so here, you know, we have our products, which is bomb, routes, labor, you know, the master data which exists on your ERP environment, which is kept at one place, and through activity driven, we can build the revenues, the cost of goods sold, the gross profits, and uh, EBIT thus, you know, uh, and we get our existing PNL to the retail levels. And uh, we have our POX, which is our current estimates, we have extracted from the ECC environment, and uh, from there we build uh, uh, our uh, new products in our planning environment, and we take this across to a simulation environment for the CFO uh, or the finance team where the cost and price equations and quantity equations are kept. And at any point of time, uh, we'll be able to do a simulation back across with our activity-driven prices using uh, the high-performance analytics. Let's bring back our PNL with the calculated cost. An example is if I have a multi-level bomb, which is a three-level bomb, and I uh, material which I'm using is gold in that particular uh, uh, bomb, and gold prices change uh, five times next year, and I put this five price across to the budgets, it automatically has to change the cox and recalculate uh, my bomb at the multi-level and bring back the information which is required for us. Yeah. So when we do that, we don't we can have any number of cycles for our planning budgeting process. And in forecasting processes, activity planning, labor planning, we can use these structures for our activities. Now, before we go in, I want to quickly show you, uh, you know, an example of, uh, uh, you know, which I have just taken up for this uh, short presentation. Um, maybe I go to my PNL. I'm taking out a, a, a PNL out here, and uh, the PNL budget numbers are uh, structured across. Uh, you can see the Cox line uh, for Jan, the forward budgets which you see here. Maybe I take one of these months. Uh, Maybe let me take uh, November uh, as the budget number, so I can see uh, around two. 500 as the number here which is calculated for my cost. Um, 